Job seekers are more discerning than ever before, and they're savvy enough to recognize troublesome red flags or toxic language in job descriptions. When they see that you're looking for a rock star, multi-hat wear, who wants to join our family, they're probably not gonna apply unless they wanna have a little laugh. In fact, a study by Clutch showed that more than half of recent hires applied to five or fewer jobs in their last job search. In this video, we'll go over the eight rules for writing an effective job post that will get you the right employee. One that will help you achieve your specific goals. And stick around to the end of this video for our final pro tip. This tip is crucial for attracting the most amount of candidates so that you can find your ideal employee. I wanted to take a really quick break to tell you a little bit about ZipRecruiter. Once your absolutely magnetic job description is ready, get your hiring started for free using ZipRecruiter. Click the link in the description to get started. Number one, identify and communicate your core values. Your values are important to your company. You can find the most skilled candidate in the world, but if they don't match your core values, you're not a match. Know your core values inside and out. Besides the hard skills you need for your employee, things like coding, design skills, or data analysis skills, you'd be better to identify the values you want to align on. Here are some examples. Trustworthiness, empathetic, people first, growth mindset, flexibility, not to be confused with a 24 seven employee, mental health and safety, openness, innovation, Think of two or three core values you'd like to communicate to your job applicants. Infuse them into your posts. Make sure they're reflected in your day-to-day -day and your mission statement too. Number two, create and edit your wish list. When looking to hire a new employee, we know that you wanna find the perfect employee. But here's a spoiler, the perfect employee doesn't exist. When creating your job description, try to focus on your must-haves and non-negotiables. Many applicants become intimidated by long job posts that list off dozens of requirements, responsibilities, and skills. Create two drafts of your job posts, one that lists everything you'd like in a dream applicant. You'll keep this one private. From there, cross out your nice to haves. Consider screening for some of those in the job interview, but don't get bogged down in one applicant checking 30 boxes you are guaranteed to miss out on the applicant who is willing to learn and grow within the role. Try to whittle down your role and responsibilities to this. Five core tasks slash responsibilities plus five to 10 other tasks and responsibilities. Number three, outline a typical day at work. We wish every job post did this. Aside from really clarifying what an employee will do in a typical day, it allows the candidate to actually imagine themselves in the role at their desk, doing the work they're specifically setting out to do. Create an outline of what a typical day or week could look like. There are many job titles that don't actually describe the job as they are too open-ended. Consider creating a mock schedule of what a day or week could look like, including any reoccurring meetings, client facing projects and reoccurring tasks. I can't stress enough that this really colors in the grayer areas of what the job is. While some job descriptions can be open-ended, this extra insight helps a candidate to understand exactly what is required. If you have someone in the role already, consider asking them for help in constructing a daily outline. Number four, transparency is huge. Consider compensation plus perks, plus a secret pro tip. We know that you don't wanna list salary inside of your job post, but we have an idea for you that we're gonna cover at the end of this tip. First, we're gonna talk about everything but salary. The modern job seeker, unlike their predecessors, are not as overly concerned with bottom line salary. Job seekers are concerned with values-based organizations, flexibility, diversity, equity, and inclusion. In fact, a study by Glassdoor showed that one in three candidates would not apply to a company that had no diversity in its workforce. Consider mentioning benefits, perks, and important factors in your job description to attract employers. Things like flexibility, remote work options, learning reimbursements, health and wellness options beyond medical insurance alone, mental health benefits and support, mentorship opportunities, workplace affinity groups. Pro tip, let your candidates quote unquote find their salary. 
We get it. You might not want to list your salary in the job description. It might vary due to experience, expertise, etc. Consider instead listing a salary range or linking to a salary calculation tool like Payscale. This will empower your candidate to do their own research and arrive at an interview with a range that matches your geographic location, industry, and company size. Psst, it's also a great way to see if your candidate really read your job description. Hey there, how's the job hunt going? Did you know that by using ZipRecruiter, you can reach over 10 million candidates with a few clicks? Get your hiring started for free today with ZipRecruiter. Number five, avoid cliches and toxic language. Unless you're looking specifically to hire John Bon Jovi, you don't need to use words like rock star in your job description. Oh, and John is probably not looking for a job anyway. Some of the most commonly reviled words to not include in your job description are rock star, ninja, family member, wear many hats, fast paced environment, 24 seven availability, work hard plus play hard, must have thick skin. While these aren't always signs of toxicity, they often are. Job seekers know to avoid these phrases, so cut them out. Number six, make your job post inclusive plus accessible. Make sure that your job post is inclusive and accessible. Unless you're filling a position that requires physically demanding work, avoid phrases that immediately exclude differently abled candidates. A resource from the University of Massachusetts details how to replace ableist language with inclusive alternatives. Here are examples of words that tend to be exclusionary and substitutes for these words. Stand or sit, stationary position. Must be able to remain in a stationary position 50% of the time. Walk, move, traverse. The person in this position needs to occasionally move about inside the office to access file cabinets, office machinery, etc. Use hands slash fingers to handle or feel, operate, activate, use, prepare, inspect, place, detect, position. Constantly operates a computer and other office productivity machinery such as a calculator, copy machine, and computer. Climb, stairs slash ladders or balance. Ascend, descend. Work atop, traverse. Occasionally ascends or descends a ladder to service the lights and ceilings fans. Stoop, kneel, crouch, or crawl. Position self to move. Constantly position self to maintain files in the cabinets. Talk slash hear. Communicate, detect, converse with, discern, convey, express oneself, exchange information. The ability to communicate information and ideas so others will understand must be able to exchange accurate information in these situations. See, detect, determine, perceive, identify, recognize, judge, observe, inspect, estimate, access. The ability to observe details at a close range within a few feet of the observer. Carry weight, lift, move, transport, position, put, install, remove. Frequently moves boxes weighing up to 20 pounds across the office for various needs. Exposure to work, exposed, work around, constantly works in outdoor weather conditions. Language matters. Make sure your job description is not intentionally or unintentionally excluding candidates from the start. Number seven, post your job to the right places. According to a study by Zeti, 50% of job applicants come from job boards. While word of mouth and social sharing are great options to spread the word, you'll want your job opening to be discoverable on major job boards like ZipRecruiter, LinkedIn, and Glassdoor. Additionally, consider finding niche job boards in your industry to share your job. These will reach a smaller pool of candidates, but they are more likely to have experience within your specific industry. But don't stop there. Make sure that you network your job posts. Here's what we mean by that. Whether you are looking for a job or trying to find the right talent for an opening, networking is a surefire way to get you or your job post in front of more people who can help you reach your goal. No matter your role or stage of your career, networking can be an unfair advantage you should use to your benefit. ZipRecruiter CEO Ian Siegel is a huge fan of networking, calling networking an awesomely ridiculously unfair advantage. Use it. 
In addition to that, make sure to use all of your resources because you just never know where the right candidate is hiding. Siegel advises, now is not the time to be shy. Go to your preferred social networks and connect to everyone you can. Don't limit yourself to close friends or past coworkers. For more information on networking, check out this article. Number eight, add your personal touch. Did you know that writing a job description can be fun? I promise it can be, just bear with me. Copy and pasting a job description is a good way to get started, but make sure it's only the beginning. By infusing your own tone, painting a colored picture of what a day could look like, and putting your values at the forefront of your job posting, you will attract the attention of your most ideal candidates. Create your personal touch to make writing the job description less boring. Consider asking your candidates to put something interesting in their cover letters. This will also make reading your incoming job applications, dare I say it, fun? All right, those are our tips. But wait, I promise you one last pro tip at the end of this video, so here it is. Pro tip, put it all together in the job description title. Yes, our last tip is to put it all together into the title of your job post. And if this seems backwards, it's because it is. Any good marketer or journalist will tell you that your title or your headline is a huge part of garnering attention. Best practices also suggest that your title be 50 to 60 characters. So how do you communicate all that you are in a fraction of a tweet? Make your job post title count. Here's how. Make sure the title is specific and accurate. Sneak a core value in if you have space. Instead of digital marketer needed, which is 23 characters, you could try seeking digital marketer with passion for education. That's 51 characters. Instead of administrative assistant opportunity, which is 36 characters, you could try administrative assistant for exciting healthcare startup, which is 56 characters. All right, well, those are our eight tips plus one bonus tip for writing and posting a job post. These will help you attract the right candidate. And I just wanna leave you with this one thought. Try to have a little fun with it. Yes, even if you're posting a boring job in finance. Consider jazzing up your job description so you can attract the right sparkling employee to your company. Happy hiring. Well, you've got this. So get out there and find your next candidate. Get your hiring started for free using ZipRecruiter. Click the link in the description to get started. Go on, get out there.